she had an argument with another sister about the life of the Prophet ﷺ. And she asked her, is the Prophet alive or is he dead? Usually this question is misleading. Because Allah Azza wa says in the Quran, إِنَّكَ مَيِّتٌ وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيِّتٌ Verily you will die and they will die. So when someone asks you, is the Prophet alive or dead? Counter this by another uh, uh, question. So tell him, if the pro is the Prophet alive in his grave in the sense that if we open his grave, he will come out to us? What would they say? No, 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 we cannot do this. Why? If he's alive like us. Let the Prophet come out and solve our problems with the grace of Allah. He says, no, no, uh, they start mumbling. See, these who always emphasize the issue of the life of the Prophet ﷺ today, they are the super Sufis who claim that the Prophet is everywhere. So they give him attributes of Allah in the sense of knowledge. So they say, he's hadhr nadhr. So wherever we are, whether we are in uh, uh, Zimbabwe or in China or in the U.S., the Prophet is with us, he hears us, he listens to us, and he controls the universe. This is shirk. Now you're giving him attributes of only Allah Azza wa who is able to do this. Okay, so is he dead? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. See, as you have stated to him, life is divided into three stages. This life we live in, we're born, we live, we die. Then we move after we die to a second life in between this dunya and the hereafter. It's known Al Barzakh, which is totally different than our, uh, our world. Forms and physics do not apply to it. In the miraculous night journey, the Prophet ﷺ said that when he was on Al Buraq with Jibreel, they passed by the red. Uh, a dune and by the grave of Musa peace be upon him and they saw him praying there soon afterwards he reached Jerusalem Al Masjid Al Aqsa and he saw Musa there he was ascended to the uh, fifth heaven or the sixth heaven where he met Musa again so what is this this is something that is or cannot be measured by our own time, uh, um, location, physics, and chemistry. This is way beyond our imagination and ability to understand or comprehend. Likewise, the life of the martyrs. They are dead in their graves, but their souls are in the lungs of green birds traveling in the trees of Jannah. But they're still in this barzakh, in the area between this life and the hereafter. The Prophet ﷺ's body does not, that does not change. It is as it is, but he's dead. He doesn't sit in his grave physically. He doesn't mate physically. He doesn't eat and drink. But his soul is treated in a way that we cannot comprehend with connection to his body. And the, this is un, understandable to us. But we cannot say that he's alive like we are alive today. Otherwise, he would come out from his grave and pray with the Muslims the five daily prayers and meet them and answer their questions. And this is not applicable.